اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قد افلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى صلى الله عليه وسلم زك الله خير بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الحمد لله We begin with the thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to be here We begin with the thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for choosing us to be here We begin with the thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us an opportunity inshallah to learn and giving us an opportunity to be able we hope inshallah with the intention and the good intention and sincerity to be people of goodness and people who can help others inshallah this is a real blessing we need to appreciate this and understand this uh, our idea today which is driven mashallah as always by the Pirhani with the support of Sheikh Yusuf um, if you want to learn about the field you can visit the field which we've done you can never spend enough time in the field you have to learn from the people one of the philosophies that we're understanding is that learning from the field is not learning from textbooks uh, elements are from textbooks elements are from presentations like we'll do today but the main learning is from the people in the field the people who we can call our clients or our beneficiaries or whatever language is used but ultimately the people for whom inshallah we uh, serve okay um, part of the process uh, as a gap always is an absence of understanding of programming an absence of understanding of structure an absence of understanding of processes how it all works and we hope inshallah that through some workshops today some discussions tomorrow we can help to unpick this a bit usually if somebody wants this education if somebody wants this understanding if somebody wants these workshops i would tell you categorically they will pay a thousand pound 1500 pound 2000 euro for two days intense workshop on understanding the field when you have regional directors and heads of programs and people who are running mashallah the communication capacity and people who are regionally covering a variety of different offices and then it goes without saying the experience and know-how so why i'm mentioning this point part of why we're here is to take the opportunity to learn Unfortunately, we work for an organization that is so vast and so big. Day by day, there is so much learning to be done, and day by day, we actually realize And The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know, okay? And that's the interesting thing about it. So this process, inshallah, is for you, is for your benefit. You're very fortunate that you're not having to pay 2,000 euro per person in order to get this. But if anything, our fantastic staff and our chef are giving their time on a Saturday, out of their schedule in order to give you an opportunity to learn and to benefit. So we're talking about this because learning and benefit is a two-way process. We're not here for lectures. We're not here just to listen. We're here to engage. We're here to ask. And within that, we need you all to get out of your shells. No question is a bad question. No uh, misunderstanding is a problem. No criticism is a problem. We learn and we develop by asking, by understanding, by listening, by a variety of different means. So please, in these next beautiful few hours, which are important hours, we've already lost time due to a variety of circumstances, absorb, learn, write, do whatever it is. This is gold, this is an opportunity. Please take it, please absorb it. You work for an organization, if you're serious about the work, you need to know more to be able to do more and grow more, inshallah. I think that's my introduction done. Thank you to our kind brothers and sister who facilitated and gone above and beyond. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you to our, uh, mashallah, founder and chair who, again, always is driving and pushing more. Where's the discussion? What's the discussion? What's this? What's that? Uh, mashallah, whatever it may be, but always for uh, the benefit of others, inshallah. I will hand over to yourself, and then we, inshallah. Somebody was, was, was telling me, can you carry the wife somewhere? I did not know how to carry her. How can you carry the wife? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, you sit down. Thank yes. you. Different generation. Thank you. You didn't get the joke. I didn't get Neither do I. <laughs> anyway, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good to see you. To see you good. Today is day number seven. Day number seven, 168 hours. You manage to cover 70 to 75% of these 168 hours working. I'm not joking, I'm just saying exactly what they have been calculated. Calculating the first two days was average of 18 to 20 hours. Then it went down to 17 hours average of the seven days. Today is the most important two days. Today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. It's not going to be a blanking day. It's a non-blanking day. So you cannot blank the eyes as the genie or the Afrit in the jinn said to Sulaiman alayhi salam. Sulaiman came from where he came from? From Ethiopia. Is it? Is it? It's not from Ethiopia. His wife is from Ethiopia. Very good. Okay, fine. <laughs> If his wife doesn't see that, he become Ethiopian. <laughs> he said, I, the, no, no, this is, this is the one who has the knowledge of Allah. Before you blink. So today, we are not going to blink. Okay? We are not going to blink. Why I'm very excited on day seven? Because day eight should be more excited. Because I learned a lot. As I always believe that teaching is here, education is here, experience is here, and reflection is there. Knowledge is here, solution is here, sustainability is here, and fundraising is there. Ability is here, but we disable ourselves by some of the regulations that we make and the more paperwork that we make. Okay? My message today to start with is for the senior people in organizations during COVID who are scared, 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 scared. Even I know. Some of them up till now, they don't go to an office in the middle of Europe or in the middle of America or in the middle of Canada. Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. So what? COVID came. We have to be cautious. We have to take the vaccine. We have to be precautiously taking all the measures and work. Those people in this office, as I've been learning from my glory, Amir Rashid and Majamu. I just utilize your image with me to elevate myself. I am elevated because they are standing next to me. And Maulana Yusuf, a Siddiq. Be careful about Zulaika. He could be behind you. You know the life, huh? you know the story. Come on, I know I need to be elevated. You need to be elevated. The elevation comes from them, does not come from you. No matter how much money you have or regulation you make. They were making journeys in 2020, 16 hours, 17 hours, 20 hours to deliver. Because they said in April, May 2020, we cannot afford to leave people stranded in no man's land. We need to help them. We need to train them. We need to be with them. Alhamdulillah, in a good health. Alhamdulillah, in a good health. Alhamdulillah, in a good health with all the precaution and from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the blessing. So for those people who are still telling us, ah, oh, 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 don't go. Work for two days only. And you are in the middle of England. You are in the middle of France. 
You are in the middle of Italy. Because you have all the facilities. Those people were putting their lives at risk. Because they considered themselves and the job like the fire brigade workers. Some of them can risk their lives to die for the aid for, for the people there. The police officers who protect you from the criminals. The military officers who protect the country with their blood, with their soul, with their heart, with their mind. And the nurses and the doctors and the ambulance drivers. 24-7. If you want people listening to me and watching me now to come to this field for 5 to 9 or 9 to 5, for cookie bookie, for per diem, per day, for money, it's not for you. Because the championship is here. And is here. And they saw the difficult time. They are the real heroes. They are the real heroes. We are not the real heroes. We are singing their songs. We are reciting their chapters. They wrote chapters for humanity. We need to write our chapters as well. That's why when I'm standing here amongst them, I'm very well protected by two. By Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have to be very proud of my identity as a Muslim, as a Muslim organization. Don't be chickening out for funding from a government or funding from a donor or funding from anybody. You have your moral values as Muslim, as Christian, as Jews, as a Stavaria, stand for it. Don't let any funding to dilute your values, to dilute your character, to, to, mm. to mutilate your identity. Mm. And I'll become like this individual who's mutilated. No face, no character, no shape. Because what? Because I'm, I'm going, going out to, for money. We should not be fund driven. This for you people listening to me. Should not be only fund driven. Should be people driven. Should be needs driven. Or should be issue driven. Mm. Should advocate for the people who need the advocacy at the right time of advocacy. Whatever it is, whether they are Muslims or non Muslims, black or white, African or Asian, human being, advocate for humanity with being proud of being what you are. Don't, don't, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, compromise. Compromise on your identity. Don't ever see my finger. But the difference between my age and you is maybe 40 years or more. When it comes to your identity, to your value, to your deal, don't compromise. And know that the provider is him. It's not this government. It's not this donor. It's not this company. If he wants you to have the fund, he will give it to you because you deserve it. And people used to respect us more when we have stronger, clear, distinct identity, which makes us not to differentiate between different races or different faith or different religion or different nationalities. We are for all. This is why I thank you for being working for the last seven days, average of 17 hours a day, and this for the people who go home after five o'clock and switch their telephone, their telephone and don't answer phone calls or emails over the weekend. You are not a part of us. You are not a part of us. You see me? You are not. You are somebody else. Okay? But you are a part of us, because we are a part of you. If you accept us, if you accept us, we'll be very proud, we'll be very elevated. The more you elevate people, the more people will elevate you, the more the dunya will elevate you more and more for akhirah. And if the dunya elevates us for akhirah, we'll be in heaven, in Firdaus Ta'ala. But let the dunya to be lenient in your hand, not to occupy your heart. 
and the leniency of Donia in her heart by the pleasure and the blessing of those people in these countries. When they can tell Allah, yes, Sister Shahrazad or Na'ma or Sarah deserve the young boy, an orphan, that you help to sponsor can call me a Muslim. I am him. No, you, you, because you're not sure. You. <laughs> he pulled me back. The young boy can tell Allah on the day of judgment. No, no Allah. This man helped me. And Allah knows. And because of the smile to draw on the face of this little child that you have no blood relationship, family relationship, or neighborhood relationship, you draw a smile on his face when you this. And Allah will listen to the little boy and will take you. And then the little boy will tell Allah, please let him to go to heaven. And he knew that I'm a bad man. But I, one day I help people. But because of the young boy and the young girl and the widow and the orphans and 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 they will ask Allah, be giving us shafa'ah before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the people, the nine to five people, sit at home. Don't be a part of us. If you accept us, we'll be very proud. Still be proud. Because I want to be like you. To rise. To be elevated to their levels. Abdul Rashid, Jam, brother uh, Yusuf, and all the children whom you made them laugh yesterday, the day before yesterday. All the smiles of the faces of women and men and the elderly that you draw, don't forget these images and keep it in your heart. Keep it forever. This will be the legacy in the making by the number of people walking after your footsteps, reciting what you wrote, singing what you wrote as songs. Legacy is not by being rich or just having a degree or a job. Legacy is by your presence on life and life for other lives to save lives after we depart from this life. This is legacy. Legacy is not something that because I'm a king and my father is a king, I may have a legacy. No. Legacy is when a child stand for Allah and tell him they are. So your message will never fade, will never die, will never end. It will be a never ending story. You make the legacy, not by yourself, but by the people that you support, the people you advocate for, the people you help, the people you dream for, the people you make prayer for, like in Uyghur, in Kashmir, in India, in Syria, Palestine, Yemen, in Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, in Eritrea, in Ethiopia at the moment, the hundreds of thousands of displaced people. Nobody talks about them. In Afghanistan, in all these countries, legacy in when people remember you forever. Legacy is how people love you without seeing you. Willing to be with you without knowing you. This is legacy. Legacy is the book that somebody writes. It's a dream in the heart and the mind and the soul of everyone that he or she would love to be next to you because they love you for no relationship. This is legacy. Legacy when you have value. When you have character. When you have philosophy to serve others. When you have culture to build. Community to build. And community to serve. This is legacy. This is legacy. 
I beg you, I kiss your feet in this Almaty to make the legacy for yourself by saving yourself through saving others. By lengthening your life in this life through letting others to talk about you and their lives. This is legacy. This is legacy. And without you, we cannot do it. Because we are partners. We are together. And the third and most important partner, partner are those people whom we spend their money on us. Whom we spend their money to us. We need to change the world beneficially. We need to change, we need to move it. Because they are not beneficial. They are the real owner of the fund. And this is your time, and this is your skills, and this is your age to carry on the message of Muhammad, Ibrahim, Joseph, Joseph, Isa, uh, Harun, and all the prophets. This is the message. I'm not here just to listen to spell are here to make the change and believe me I believe in all of you that you will make the change and if you believe in Allah then you believe in yourself in yourself then you believe in your community then you believe in your partners uh, then you believe in the people that you are going to serve you will make the change believing is believing. Believing is believing. Believing in action. Believing is delivery. Believing is a change. Believing is bringing joy and happiness to others who have no relationship with you. This is Islam. Islam was bringing justice to anyone. everyone. They said names about us. Shouldn't care. Because objectively we have a message to deliver, have a mission to accomplish, and we have a dream to change it to a reality for the people who are waiting for you. No matter what they said about you. See what they said about Isa alayhi salam. See what they said about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. About others. See how they killed prophets. How they burned them. How they sold them. But the prophet's message is still alive with us. And this is their legacy. If we need Allah carrying their legacy, their messages, and follow them in the footsteps. There's no distinction. Never make a difference between a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, or a child and a child, because of the color, because of the language, because of the race, because of the religion, or the faith. Never, ever. And I'm challenging anyone, anyone can come and say that we make the difference. Or discrimination between them. Jazakum Allah khair. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Brother Yusuf. Thank you, Brother Jamal. And thank you, Brother Abd Rashid. And thank you all, inshallah. Thank you all, inshallah. With the hope that we will be all in a safe hand. I learned a lot from them. And as I'm telling you, while I'm standing here, I'm being elevated. Allah looks at me differently than when I stand against someone else. They are different than kings, queens, presidents, emirs, and others. Because they are the kings who can make change. Thank you.